Hey guys, it's Justin, the dental marketing guy, here to talk about the lifetime value of a new patient. If you're an ophthalmologist, you know that $5,000 is the cost of LASIK. So if you're spending $500 set to gain a new patient, that makes sense. As an ophthalmologist, it's a much more predictable model. For dentistry, it's not so clear. What we want to do is we want to talk about some of the variables of different patients whether you've got a Delta Dental patient who just comes in for cleanings, moves away in three years, different lifetime value than a patient who comes in restorative, $20,000 cosmetic and restorative work and refers 10 patients of the same kind. Obviously a big difference. So what we want to figure out is we want to outline what makes the difference between gaining the patients that you want most in your practice. And so to do that, we're going to look at the different variables. One of the variables is patient loyalty. And right there, if you're if you're a dentist who says, you know, in certain areas, we've got college towns where people move in and they move out a lot, and so you're going to have to gain new patients on a higher basis than you would if you're in a town that's a little slower moving and people don't move away as much. So, but for the average dentist, that's what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a common dentist uh, patient loyalty rate. A lot of dentists would say maybe 15 years or more for patients, the majority of them. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say 10 years to be conservative. Okay, so if we've got a patient loyalty of 10 years, then that gives us kind of a barometer. And it may be more or less, and adjust these figures according to your practice. Uh, you know, internal marketing is going to make a huge difference in these numbers as well. So that's something that you always want to have on your mind is good patient experience, because that's going to make a big difference in how long they stay. Uh, it's also, the next thing we want to look at is referrals. And in referrals, that, that can be a huge variety. So if you're attracting the patients who are referring 10, 20 people to your practice, obviously there's a higher lifetime value there. Uh, now, some patients will refer no one. But once again, if you have your internal marketing set up in place, a reliable figure I've found is about five referrals five friends will be referred to your practice and so what we want to do is we want to take these numbers five referrals and over the course of 10 years and now what we want to do is we want to figure out okay based on the average in your industry if you could attract the patients that you want or if you are attracting those patients what's the number that they'll spend per year Okay, and conservatively, and this may be an aggressive figure for some, so once again, adjust it according to your practice, but I'm going to say conservatively for many dentists, $500 per year. Okay, so if you've got $500 per year times 10 years, that's $5,000. Okay, so if, so if you say the, the value of a patient... is five thousand dollars but then we also aren't considering the five referrals if we add that to the equation that's twenty five thousand dollars lifetime value from referrals thirty thousand dollars does that sound too good to be true not really because the math actually lines up the problem is internal marketing is so huge if you're not providing the kind of patient experience whereby these kinds of figures are are predictable then it's too good to be true but if you are providing even better than these figures then the new new patient generated through search engines or a referral service or direct mail or, or through whatever method that actually has a higher lifetime value than the five friends that were referred. Why is that? Because 
these five friends of this person tend to know each other. And so as you go through these five friends, each, each time you go through a degree of separation, you get less referrals. So maybe like three referrals from one of those five friends. And then from there, you might get two and then one eventually. But when you do it through, say, like search engine optimization, you're bringing in a whole new tree of people, a person who otherwise would have never heard about you, and therefore a whole new branch of people to bring in five referrals. So not, not to say that referrals uh, never will bring you more, more patients, they certainly could, but the fact is if they come through search engine optimization, if they come through uh, pay-per-click management, if they come through direct mail, or some sort of dental marketing that uh, has, has stepped outside the social sphere of your already existing patients, then you're going to see more referrals. You're going to have a higher value per lifetime, especially when you start getting granular and you start focusing on just the highest value patients. So the highest value patients for your practice might be a cosmetic case, Invisalign and you start there and you start the rela relationship based off of a high value procedure where there's a high profit margin. So that's these are all things to consider uh, as far as these numbers go. They're reasonable uh, but the variable is they have to be media generated. They have to come from an outside source outside of being referred from existing patients and you have to have your internal marketing spot on. If you can do this, these two things, generate media generated patients who have an amazing patient experience, they're gonna tell people about it. This figure, $30,000, that is a reasonable figure for the lifetime value of a patient in a dental practice like yours that is spot on with the internal marketing.